On this edition of page 57, I bring you from Abacus, Alistair Crowley, Diary of a Drug Fiend, the magical account of a voyage through heaven and hell by the century's most notorious occultist. Page 57. Chapter 3. Phaeton. Lou clung to me as I gripped the wheel. There was no need for us to speak. The trembling torrent of our passion swept us away. I had forgotten all about Lamus and his car. We were driving like the devil to nowhere. A mad thought crossed my mind. It was thrown up by my unconscious, by the essential self of my being. There, some familiar object in the street reminded me that I was not driving back to the studio. Some force in myself, of which I was not aware, had turned my face towards Kent. I was interpreting myself to myself. I knew what I was going to do. We were bound for Barley Grange, and then, oh, the wild moonlight ride to Paris. The idea had been determined in me without any intervention of my own, it had been, in a way, the solution of an equation of which the terms were, firstly, the sort of mad identification of Lou with all one's romantic ideas of moonlight, <laughs> then my physical habit as a flying man, and thirdly, the traditional connection of Paris uh, with extravagant gaiety and luxuriant love. I was quite aware at the time that my moral sense and my mental sense had been thrown overboard for the moment, but my attitude was simply, Goodbye, Jonah. For the first time in my life, I was absolutely myself, freed from all inhibitions of body, intellect, and training which kept us normally in what we call sane courses of action. I seemed to remember asking myself if I was insane and answering, oh, Of course I am. Sanity is a compromise. Sanity is a thing that keeps one back. It would be quite useless to attempt to describe the drive. 